Linear equations with fractions can seem like they get pretty complex pretty fast. In this problem, we have 3 fourths x minus 1 half equals 1 third times the quantity 3 fourths x plus 6 minus 7 halves. While all this involvement may make this problem seem very difficult, we will find we follow the same patterns that we have used to solve our problems before. When we have fractions and parentheses in the same problem, we must clear the parentheses first. So let's do that and distribute the one-third through the parentheses. We now have three-fourths x minus one-half equals, when we multiply, doing a little chicken scratch on the side, one-third times three-fourths, the threes divide out and we're just left with one-fourth, one-fourth x plus one-third times six, and if we put the six over one, three and six reduce to two, and so we're just left with two, minus seven-halves. Our first step is to clear the parentheses. Our second step to make this easier to handle is after clearing the parentheses, we like to clear the fractions. We can clear the fractions by identifying the least common denominator of the entire problem. Our denominators are four and two repeated several times. The least common denominator is four, and so we will multiply each term on both sides by four. Notice we also multiplied the four by the two even though it wasn't a fraction. We're not just multiplying by fractions, we're multiplying by every term on both sides. Now we should be able to reduce our fractions. Four over four is one, and one times three x is three x. Minus four over two is two, and two times one is two. Equals four over four reduces to one, and one times one x is just one x, Technically, we don't need the one in front of the x, plus four times two is eight, minus four over two reduces to two, and two times seven is fourteen. To make this a bit nicer, we could combine like terms here on the same side of the equation. We now have three x minus two equals x minus six. We are now ready to solve this problem. First thing we need to do is get the variables all on one side. Since one x on the right side is smaller, we'll get rid of one positive x with one negative x on both sides of the equation. We now have two x minus two equals negative six. We can now start moving away from the x by getting the negative two, the single negative twos away with two positives on both sides. We get two x equals negative four, and finally, we get x alone by dividing by two, and we find out x is equal to negative two. In this problem, we have combined a lot of the skills together that we have seen from several problems in the past. We clear the parentheses first by distributing, clear the fractions next by multiplying by the LCD. Now we have a general equation which we can solve by simplifying and combining like terms, moving the variables to one side, and finally solving the remaining two-step equation.